At present, many countries of the world have a lot of outdated T-54, T-55, T-59 tanks. The Kakao Morozov Machine Building Design Bureau have developed a set of measures to modernize these tanks in order to increase their technical and combat characteristics. Modernization presupposes improvement of three components of the tank, its mobility, protection and firepower. By request of the customer, this modernization can be done both by elements and fully. Modernization of mobility includes installation of the 850 horsepower 5TD FM engine or 1000 horsepower 5TD FM A engine, which provides for higher specific power output as compared with the basic tank. The highly effective air cleaning system and cooling system ensure a reliable work of the engine under conditions of heavy dust loading and the ambient temperature ranging from minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 55 degrees. Two reversing final drives with automatic gear shifting have six forward gears and four reverse gears. They give the tank high throttle response and high reverse speed up to 31 km per hour as well as possibility to turn not only around its brake track but to pivot. Electrohydraulic control provides for smooth change of the turning radius in all gears with the help of the steering bar. The improved fuel system with additional fuel tanks increases the fuel distance up to 500 kilometers. The new engine and transmission, as well as the perfected running gear with more power-consuming shock absorbers and support rollers, make it possible for the tank to move with speed up to 70 km per hour on the hard surface roads and with speed up to 45 km per hour over cross country. In order to move on roads intended for general use, the tank is fitted with the rubber padded shoe tracks. Uh, the set of measures aimed to increase the tank firepower includes installation of the 125 mm or 120 mm gun, as well as installation of the commander's hatch with the 12.7 mm remotely controlled anti-aircraft mount stabilized in two planes. The gunner's day-night sight with laser range finder and the guided missile control panel and the thermal sight with two plane stabilization provide for firing from the gun at ranges up to 2,500 meters and the guided missile up to 5,000 meters when in static position and on the move both at daytime and at night. The thermal sight makes it possible to detect targets at ranges more than 5,000 meters at night. The analog numerical ballistic computer makes it possible to automate the fire control and to automatically introduce corrections that take into account dynamic, meteorological and speed characteristics of the target and those of the tank itself. Using the combined day-night sight, the commander can make operative all-day observation of the terrain, make target designation and fire from the gun, the coaxial machine gun, the anti-aircraft mount against air targets at ranges up to 2,000 meters and against land targets up to 1,600 meters. The gun loading is automated. Installation of the bustle type autoloader shortens the tank crew to three men. Thanks to that arrangement of the ammunition, the time needed for loading is shortened and the chop-off possibility is provided. The survivability after combat damages is increased. The fired cartridge is automatically ejected. <laughs> Thanks to that, the gas content in the fighting compartment is decreased. In addition to the ammunition, which is placed in the autoloader, there is an additional ammunition stored near the power pack compartment bulkhead. A set of additional protection with explosive reactive armor for the front hull and turret elements is offered in order to increase their protection level. The hull sides can be covered with shields, the explosive reactive armor being installed in their front parts. The installed set increases the protection level 2.5 times at least. The improved firefighting equipment 
with improved optic and thermal sensors is offered for modernization of the tank. Speed of response of the new system exceeds 40 times that of the basic tank. To enable the tank to act in the contaminated areas, it is equipped with the radiation and chemical agent detector, which informs the tank crew about presence of toxic and radioactive agents outside the tank and together with the filter ventilation unit prevents penetration of contaminated air and radioactive dust in the crew compartment by creating overpressure. The Optronic countermeasure system, which makes it possible to detect the fact of the laser range finder operation, to fire small grenades and to set an aerosol screening that decreases the possibility for the enemy to aim accurately with the help of the laser rangefinder and hides the tank in the optical and radar bands is offered for modernization of the tanks. The automobile type road signaling system is offered to move tanks on the roads intended for general use. All other constituent parts that are offered for modernization of the tanks have proved their reliability and functional fitness by being used in various climatic zones and are produced serially. The offered measures make it possible to increase the combat and technical level of modernized tanks and bring them to the maximum to the level of modern tanks.